I'm always up for trying a new style puzzle game, and there's one on Switch called Packet Queen that just was released. But is this a game that should be hailed as royalty, or after getting this packet of information, you're not going to want to play it. Packet Queen is a very interesting game, that is for sure. I didn't know what quite to make of it when I first saw it and started playing it, but after a bit I actually did start to have fun. The graphics in the game are kind of strange, sometimes scary and a little bit inconsistent. The game story is also a bit weird, and you're playing as a girl named Juno who ends up finding out about a game that if she plays it, she'll end up increasing her technical skill that can actually get her promoted at work and make more money. There's a lot of dialogue in this game between the levels, and it's a very linear experience. You're not able to make dialogue choices or anything like that. After a bit of cutscenes, you'll jump into a level where you're taking on an opponent trying to see who ends up getting the high score in a game of Packet Queen. The rules of Packet Queen are simple. Go through your whole supply of packets and make sure you have a higher score at the end of it. When a level begins, you have these shapes or packets that will start coming towards your character. You then have to quickly decide where you want to put these items. You can either let it pass by your character, which you're only allowed to do with the colored item that they want to currently be passed by, so either all the dark blue items or all the yellow items. If the item coming your way isn't that color, you then have to make the decision to either recycle it or potentially throw it down into your hand. This is where the poker element comes in. Thankfully, you can pull up the guide at any point so you can kind of know how the different hands work and the amount of points you'll end up getting for doing them. When you end up making a mistake though, the items that you messed up with explode and end up covering the screen, stopping you from being able to see quite as easily. Thankfully, if you're able to pull off a big hand, you can wipe out the screen of all this. As you can probably tell, the controls are simple. You're able to use either the trigger buttons, the up and down on the D-pad, or A and B in order to either send the items up, send them down, or just press nothing to let them pass, or if you're using the D-pad, you can press forward to speed things up a little bit. The main story is pretty bare bones. You just have a bit of dialogue and then a matchup, and then afterwards you'll have a bit more dialogue before the next match. There's only eight levels in the game or eight matches for you to compete in, but there are three different difficulties. The game also features a versus mode, but this works more as a high score leaderboard than a true competitive multiplayer. There's no actual local co op or local versus. The entire game of Packet Queen is a versus puzzle game. And what drives me nuts in this game is you can't see what your opponent's doing. You can see their facial expressions, you can see their score, but that's it. One of the best aspects of a lot of competitive puzzle games is seeing what your opponent's doing and preparing for the absolute worst. The actual puzzle game itself though does have some fun to it. As I learned some of the hands and was starting to be more patient with the game, I was starting to get some high scores and easily wiping out my opponents on the normal difficulty. There's no real collectibles or unlockables of any kind, there is the stickers, but this is basically just the in-game achievement system. The game also isn't necessarily that long, taking roughly an hour and a half to three hours to beat. From the technical side of things, though the game ran smoothly, it didn't run into any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Packet Queen is available now on the Nintendo Switch for $4.99, and the game is also available on Steam. Overall, this game has the makings of what could potentially be a really fun puzzle game. It just ends up lacking in so many ways that it's a little bit hard to recommend. With everything said though, I'm going to be giving Packet Queen on the Nintendo Switch a 4 out of 10. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this review. I like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.